Hello and welcome to a video where I explain the ISI selection policy which is revised under the current COVID-19 situation. I will be uh, uh, trying uh, to the best of my ability to uh, give you examples in order to explain this in a very lucid fashion. Okay. So firstly, let's uh, try and understand uh, what is the pattern of each examination. ISI has beautifully given us the pattern of each and every examination on its uh, website. I will also be sharing uh, the link in the uh, description. So just to uh, give you an example, each of these programs will have two parts. The first part is before noon and the second part is afternoon. So the first part of the examination, the subjects is all given here. Like, for example, uh, BSTAT in the first part will have only math and multiple choice questions. In the afternoon, it will be math and descriptive type questions. For MSQE or the Masters of Science in Quantitative Economics, the first part, which is the forenoon, will be math and eco both. It will be multiple choice. And in the afternoon, it will be math and eco both. It will be descriptive. So whichever examination that you are appearing for, its information will be given here. This is basically the master database of the pattern of each and every ISI entrance examination for the year. Uh, 2020 okay now let's go further in the selection policy so we'll take a few examples and I will be uh, trying to make it as lucid as possible so let me use the whiteboard firstly so in order to talk about the selection policy I'll be uh, taking an example of the MSQE course Masters of Science in uh, Quantitative Economics, which has 45 seats in uh, total, 27 in ISI Delhi and 18 seats in ISI Kolkata. The total marks are 120 and 120 for each of uh, the test in uh, uh, forenoon and afternoon. And these are a few values which I will be explaining how to calculate. So P1 is equal to 5, A1, B1 is 1 and 2, and P2 is equal to 2. We will be seeing what these mean exactly. Okay, so let me use the whiteboard again and I'll be explaining what these mean. So, ISI MSQE course I'm talking about, there are two centers. One is the Kolkata center and the other is the Delhi center. The Kolkata center has 18 seats and the Delhi center has 27 seats, making it a total of 45 seats. There are two stages. So stage one and stage two. So first we'll talk about stage one. Stage one to keep in mind the value of P1 was equal to five. Now what does this mean exactly? What this means exactly is I will basically multiply the number of seats in each of the center by five. So for Kolkata it will be 90 and for Delhi, it will be 27 into 5. 27 into 5 is 135. Okay. Now, what do these numbers uh, signify? The first part of the test, test 1, or in MSQE, it's called PEA or part A, which is 30 questions, 4 marks each. 15 questions coming from math and stat and 15 questions coming from the economics part. So 15 MCQ from math and stat, 15 from economics, 30 questions, 4 marks each, total marks will be 120. Okay. I will take into account in stage 1 only the score of the first examination which is multiple choice. Okay. And what do these numbers signify? So all the students who have appeared for ISI Kolkata 
suppose the number is 2000 and suppose the number for isi delhi as the first preference is say 5000 okay the top 90 students so isi will compute the scores of all these 2000 students and will rank them rank 1 rank 2 3 4 and there will be a rank 90 similarly all these 5000 the scores will be calculated for the first part of the test and the ranking will be done rank 1 2 3 up till 135 okay rank 90 will be treated as the cut off for stage 1 and rank 135 for isi delhi will be treated as the cut off for stage 1 okay so suppose rank 90 has got a score of say 72 okay so anyone scoring greater than 72 for isi kolkata will qualify for stage 1 and supposing the 135th rank has scored a 71 so anyone scoring greater than 71 will qualify for isi delhi in stage 1 so to recap p1 is equal to 5 i multiply the number of seats with that and this will be basically giving me the rank rank 90 will be the cut off for isi kolkata rank 135 out of all the students will be the cut off for isi delhi for the first stage okay so all these 90 and all these 135 will move to the second stage of selection so now we move on to the second stage stage 2 stage 2 will now take into account both the tests the pea which is the mcq kit and the peb both will be taken into account peb is the descriptive okay here the total marks was 120 here also the total marks is 120 okay now in stage 2 what will happen in stage 2 a score will be calculated i call it s2 s2 is what s2 is basically 1 multiplied by the score of the first part plus 2 multiplied by the score of the second part now where did i get this 1 and 2 this 1 and 2 i got from this table itself which i showed you earlier so msqe 1 and 2 so 1 multiplied by the score of the first part plus 2 multiplied by the score of the second part this will be another score which is uh, uh, calculated for all the students who have cleared stage 1 so stage 1 i have 90 students for isi kolkata and 135 students for isi delhi only their papers will be corrected for peb or the second part okay all the other students their second paper will not even be corrected because they fail to qualify the first stage okay and for all these 90 students this s2 is calculated and all these 135 for students this s2 is calculated right so s2 is calculated for all these 90 and 135 students so for kolkata and delhi again i have a ranking so i have a rank 1 2 up to 90 for all these 90 students and for delhi i have a rank 1 2 up till 135 for all these 135 uh, students basis the score of this s2 okay now isi has said that for stage 2 p2 is equal to 2 p2 is equal to 2 will basically mean remember kolkata had 18 students delhi had 27 student multiply by 2 so 36 multiply by 2 so 54 okay so 1 to up to 90 now somewhere in the middle i have a 36 somewhere in the middle i have 54 this 36th rank marks will now be the cut off for stage 2 and this 54th rank will be the cut off for stage 2 for isi delhi 
right so what happened in stage 1 stage 1 we saw 1 to 90 there second paper will also be corrected and now a new score will be tabulated which is called s2 this is this s2 the ranking will now take place for all the 90 for kolkata and all the 135 for iis delhi and since p2 is equal to 2 i will only take first 36 so 36 will be the cut off 36 persons score will be treated as the cut off for iis kolkata and 54th person will be considered as the cut off for iis delhi and these people will be said to have cleared stage 2 okay now each and every examination except jrf iisa has actually mentioned this each and every examination except jrf finishes at stage 2 there will be no interviews for each and every examination except jrf let me show you that you can see stage 3 is third school list is only for jrf programs see for programs other than the jrf programs the tabulated score sheet of scores obtained by the candidates after stage 2 is the final rank ordered merit list okay so this these will be the merit list these will be the merit list 36 for iis kolkata 54 for iis delhi okay something that i have not yet mentioned for any stage is the reservation so let me explain that as well for obc candidates this cut off which i as an example said was 72 and 71 for obc the cut off for iis kolkata will be 0.9 multiplied by the cut off that i have got let the cut off be equal to q1 so q1 and sc st and physically disabled or pwd candidates the cut off is 0.7 multiplied by the cut off for the for the general category so rank 1 to rank 90 cut off was for 90 after i found out the cut off the cut off for obc will be 0.9 into q1 cut off for scst pwd will be 0.7 into q1 the same thing will happen for iis delhi as well okay this is a common thing and the same thing will happen for stage number 2 as well so the cut off which is uh, calculated let's call it q1 the obc cut off will be 0.9 into q1 and the scst pwd cut off will be 0.7 into q1 okay so what you have to keep in mind is firstly you for iisi kolkata you have to be in the top 90 in the first part of the exam and you have to be in the top 100 uh, 35 in the first part of the examination for iisi delhi and in the second part of the examination you have to be in the top 36 for iisi kolkata and the top 54 in iisi delhi in order to feature in the final rank ordered merit list okay and then what will happen then the top 18 will be given chance first and the top 27 will be given chance first okay normally isi kolkata does not go beyond 20 or 21 at max and i said delhi goes up to maximum 30 so you can think about it in this way that you have to be in the top 20 for isi kolkata and you have to be in the top 30 for isi delhi okay that has to be that has to be your aim right so i hope this video has uh, explained uh, the selection uh, policy for isi this is only an example for msqe we have a very similar example for uh, bstat mstat whichever course that you want to uh, talk about 
kindly refer to this table so for msqe it was 120 125 1 2 and 2 for a b stat for example it is 7 so 7 times the number of students so 7 into 50 so top 350 students will be short listed for the first stage then in the second stage a score 2 will be calculated 1 multiplied by the score of the first part plus 3 multiplied by the score of the second part and this score is calculated and the top 1.3 multiplied by 50 1.3 multiplied by 50 will give me 65 so top 65 candidates this 65th candidates score will be treated as the cut off and similarly for obc it will be 0.9 multiplied by the cut off and for sc st pwd it will be 0.7 multiplied by the cut off okay so uh, uh, similarly you can actually calculate for each and every b math and stat m math and for all the others okay just keep in mind all these the numbers p1 a1 b1 and p2 these are important for um understanding the selection policy for isi thank you so much all the best for the examination bye bye